The Nuggets will look to extend their two-game winning streak as they play host to the Lakers Sunday night in a national broadcast nightcap. The Lakers are on a seven-game winning streak and are perfect during the month of February so far. That includes a 114-93 win over the Nuggets, a game where Denver was able to take a lead into halftime, but saw LeBron James and his teammates steamroll them in the second half. James's post-game comments? I'm going to go out on a limb and say that if the Nuggets only score 35 points in the second half again, they're going to have a really hard time winning this game. The Basics who, Los Angeles Lakers 21-6 versus Denver Nuggets 14-11, when, 8 p.m. MT where, Ball Arena, Denver, Colorado How to Watch, ESPN Rival Blog, Silver Screen and Roll Potential Matchups Projected Matchups Posden Lalege Posden Lalege Geparage Jamal Murray Dennis Schroeder Even SG Will Barton Kentavious Caldwell Pope Even SF Michael Porter Jr. LeBron James Lakers PF Paul Millsap Anthony Davis Lakers C. Nicholas Jokic Mark Gasol Nuggets Bench Monte Morris, Faku Campazzo, RJ Hampton, Jamichael Green, Zeke Naji Kyle Kuzma, Montrez Harrell, Wesley Matthew Jr., Alex Caruso Lakers Injury Report, Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Alex Caruso, Day to Day, Will Barton, Jamal Murray, Day to Day, PJ Dozier, Gary Harris, Out, Three Things to Watch Will Anthony Davis Play? The Lakers' all-star power forward is questionable for tonight's game, but did just play 35 minutes against the Grizzlies two days ago. With him available, that gives the Lakers an elite rim protector, and someone that can potentially slow down Nikola Jokic for the Nuggets. Without Davis, the Lakers are left playing Mark Gasol, who is only playing limited minutes for them, and Montrez Harrell, who is a page in Jokic's cookbook at this point due to how well Jokic roasts him every time they face off. Can the Nuggets hit three-pointers? The reality of the 2020-21 Nuggets is that they need to hit over 13 three-pointers in a game in order to feel confident they can pull off a win. They are 5-5 when they have 13 made three-point shots or fewer, and 9-6 when they make more than 13 three-point shots. With Gary Harris and PJ Dozier out, the Nuggets, who are already undersized on the wing, flat out, don't have the depth to try to corral a big wing like LeBron James. That means it'll be Layup City out there for the Lakers, so they have to counter by putting up a three on the scoreboard. They need Jokic, Murray, and MPJ to all have a big night from behind the three-point line. Controlling the defensive glass. The Lakers aren't a great offensive rebounding team, but if their bench lineups are able to regain possession after a missed shot, that's going to kill the Nuggets. They have seen RJ Hampton put up some good rebounding numbers while he's received more playing time, and they're going to need to really do an outstanding job there to help trigger fast break opportunities so they can get easy buckets against a team that has the top defensive rating in the league.